Hello everyone and welcome to Butterfly Dreams Crochet. My name is Jeannie and today we are going to be making this cute mug cozy. Um, I'm going to show you how you can put different things on it to make it a little more snazzy. Decorate it up a little bit. These are just some gems that I got from Dollar Tree. And we're going to, I'm going to put them on this one. So what you're going to need is some cotton yarn of your choice, a 4 millimeter crochet hook. You will also need a pair of scissors. You will also need a sewing needle for putting your button on and a darning needle. And your coffee cup that, or teacup, whatever you want to call it, that you're going to be using to make your cozy for. You will also need a tape measure. Because we're going to measure the circumference of our mug. Just like this. So this is what you want to do. You want to measure your mug circumference. And this measures right at, a little over about 10 and a quarter inches. So um, this is done using the single crochet V-stitch. I like how it gives it a lot of texture. So yeah, I'm going to pause right quick, get everything set up, grab my button because I did forget my button, of course. I forgot something, didn't I? And we'll get started on it. Alright, before we get started, let me welcome each and every one of y'all back to my channel. Thank y'all so much for spending time with me. I really, really do appreciate every one of y'all. No more, no less than the others. Um, you are always welcome here to my channel. Um, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think about this video. And make sure to hit your post notification bell to all so you'll be notified when I upload new videos. Okay, so the yarn I'm using today is going to be Knitting Fever. Hand painted cotton, pure geyser cotton. I got this in a, I want to say a Mary Maxim kit. I've done several things with it and ripped it out. So we're going to use it today for our tutorial. We're going to start out with a slip knot. And we are going to chain 14. 1, 2, 3, four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen and fourteen now what we're going to do is work one single crochet in the second chain from our hook remember the loop on your hook does not count as a stitch this is our first chain second chain insert into that second chain and work a single crochet and we're going to put one single crochet in every chain all the way to the end So continue putting one single crochet in every chain all the way to the end. Just like that. And you should have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 13. We're going to chain one. And in that very first stitch at the base of our chain one, we're going to work a single crochet. We're going to skip one, and in the next stitch, we're going to work a single crochet, chain one, single crochet right back into that same stitch. Skip one, single crochet into the next stitch, chain one, and single crochet back into the same stitch. Skip one, single into the next stitch, 
chain one and single into the same stitch skip one single crochet into the next stitch chain one and single crochet into the next stitch skip one single crochet into the next stitch chain one and single crochet into the next stitch we're going to skip one and single crochet in that very last single crochet chain one and turn we're going to work one single crochet in that very first single crochet we're going to skip over to that chain one space and we're going to work one single chain one and one single crochet all in that chain one space skip over to the next chain one space and work one single crochet chain one one single crochet all in that same chain one space that is going to be your repeat all the way to the end and I'll see you when I get to the end okay so I made it here to the end and we're going to work a single crochet in that very last stitch we're going to chain one and we're going to repeat that down this next row one single crochet in the first stitch we're going to skip over to that next chain one space and work one single chain one and one single crochet skip to the next chain one space and repeat that one single chain one and one single crochet skip over to the next chain one space and work one single chain one and one single crochet skip to the next single uh, chain one space and work one single chain one and one single crochet all in the chain one space insert into the next chain one space and work one single chain one and one single crochet in that same chain one space in the very last stitch work one single crochet that is what you will do for the entirety of your mug cozy you'll chain one turn you'll work one single crochet in the next stitch in the first stitch here then you'll skip over to the chain one space and you'll work one single crochet chain one one single crochet in every chain one space to the last one and then you will put one single crochet into that very last stitch you will do that until it measures the length that you need for your mug cozy so continue working in rows like that and I'll meet y'all when I have enough rows for my cup I'll peep in from time to time and show you on the cup on how to measure to make sure you have the right size okay so this is where I am right now on mine I'm going to take a quick measurement it measures about nine and a quarter inches remember my cup measure 10 what I do is I lay it here at the handle and bring this side around like so that is the perfect width because we're gonna do a deep uh, we're gonna do a single crochet row and then we're gonna do a little small strip to go across and we're gonna put our button so um, I'm gonna pause and see if I can count my rows and let you know exactly how many I did and I'll be back with you okay looks like I did 37 rows okay so now what we're going to do is work one single crochet in that first single crochet one single crochet into the next single crochet one single crochet into the next single crochet and continue putting one single crochet into every single crochet till we get to our last um, two singles in one chain remember we had 13 stitches 2 4 6 8 9 this will be 10 work one single crochet in that chain one space that'll be 11 one single crochet in that next single crochet that's 12 and one in our very last single crochet that is 13 now we're going to chain one now we're going to slip stitch into the next single crochet 
one, two, three. And we're going to half double crochet into the next stitch, half double crochet into the next five. One, two, three, four, and five. You should have six half double crochets. Now I'm going to slip stitch into that next stitch just so it kind of evens out. Chain one, turn. We're not working into that slip stitch. We're going right back into that half double crochet. And we're going to work one half double crochet in each of those six um, half doubles. So that's one, two, three, four, five, and six. Chain one and turn. Now we're going to work single crochets. One two, three, four, five, and six. Chain one, turn, and work one double crochet in every chain, uh, every stitch, and you should always have six stitches when you get to the last one. Chain one, turn, one single crochet into the first stitch and one single crochet in every one across I'm going to do that for about two more rows This will be our last one. We ended on the wrong side with our single crochet row, which is where you want to be. Now, what I like to do is bring my cup back in. I put that through the handle toward the back. I'm right handed, so that's how I hold my mug and bring this and see how it will be that is perfect because we're going to work one single crochet all the way around our um, mug cozy and then we will make our chain for our button so our button will go somewhere in this area right here and you'll hook it with your um, chain that we're going to do okay so now what we're going to do is go right back into that very same stitch and work one more single crochet that's going to round us to the corner then we're going to put one single crochet in at the end of every row all the way around and when you get to your corners work two singles so just work one single crochet at the end of every row. Now right here we're going to go right in here and we're going to work one single crochet and go into the next stitch and work one single and into the next and work two singles. Just like that. Continue putting one single crochet at the end of every row. When you get here, work two, come back down your chain. When you get here, work two, and come all the way back up to this corner. Work two, then come here, and then go up. And when you get back here to the beginning, I'll meet y'all at the beginning. Alright, so I've made it all the way around with my single crochets. Now we are going to chain one, two, three, four, five, six. 7, 8, 9, 10, and we're going to join with a slip stitch to that very first single crochet right there. Okay. 
and we're going to chain one we're going to cut our yarn and weave in our end and then we will sew our button on you will need some sewing thread I always use transparent um well I'm actually going to use the thread that I made this with to make to sew my button on with you just need a sewing needle that the um will fit through the holes of your button so I'm going to weave my end in and then I'll show you how to do the button okay so I'm just going to I put my cozy on my cup and I am going to just see where I want to place my button probably right there so I'm going to put my finger there and I'm actually going to take a stitch marker and go underneath a couple of those stitches and mark my spots. Now I'm going to take some of my yarn. And I ended up having to split it last night to get it to go through the needle. So I'm going to split this. It could be two, three, three pieces. Doesn't matter. I think I got two here. As long as you can get it through the eye of your needle. Uh, there we go. Alright, so I'm going to lay my button here start from the back side make sure you have the right side facing you when you place your button and since this is a 4 I'm going to do the X I'm going to pull that through then I'm going to lay this over pull that through just a little bit and I'm not going to do it as tight as I did last night because I broke my tail and I want to save some of that okay and then I'm going to get my thread out from around my needle I'm just going to go right back if I can find the hole there we go and go back across to the next side And be careful if you're working with a sharp needle you don't want to poke your fingers that hurts and I'm just gonna go through each eye one more time like so just to make sure that button is on there really really good mm. Alright, now what I like to do is take my tail, secure that down with a tight knot without breaking your yarn, just like that. And then you can just weave this in a little bit across. I like to lay that across like that. It kind of gets it out of your way. And I'm just weaving that in. And then I will take my other darning needle. I'm going to show you a little trick since my yarn is not long enough. I'm just going to push this through some strands that I can get it through. I'm going to take my end and darn it through. Darn it. Stick it through the eye of my needle. And I'm going to grab the other end and pull that yarn through. 
That's an easy trick if your tail is too short for your needle. Just push your needle through where you want it to go. And now I'm going to cut this tail. Bring my cup cozy back in. My cup back in. Wrap it. Pull that up over that button. And secure it. And we now have a cup cozy. Now if you wanted to add little embellishments to it or a patch or anything like that, you could definitely do that now. I do have these little jewels. I think I'm going to put one there. Maybe one there. Or I might do it like this. Space them out. Y'all know I love butterflies. And put them on there like that. Now I'll put these on and I'll be back. Alright, there we have it. I have put my butterflies on in random places. I think it looks good. And who wouldn't want to enjoy a hot cup of coffee or tea out of a cup that is covered by a beautiful mug cozy thank y'all so much for spending time with me today and making the mug cozy along with me i hope you enjoy it as much as i do i got these little butterflies from dollar tree they came in a pack you get multiple ones um i can't remember how many is in a pack for a dollar 25 and yes i used hot glue to put them on with and i absolutely love it look how pretty yes so again thank y'all for spending today with me and making this mug cozy if you do make it please send me pictures i also have a facebook group called butterfly dreams crochet um, you can ask to join that group and I will approve you. You can post your pictures there. We also have the Yarny Fiber Sisters Facebook group. You can also join that Facebook group and post your pictures there. You can send them to me on Instagram um, or email. All that information will be in the description box down below. And again, I appreciate y'all taking time out of your day and spending it with me. And until next time, um, continue doing what you love to do. Whether it's crochet, knitting, diamond painting, um, whatever it is that you do, continue to do it with all of your heart. And remember, always be kind. Remember to smile. And like I always like to say, if you don't have anything nice to say, then don't say anything at all. I will see y'all in and out of the YouTube streets. Talk to you all later. Y'all have a wonderful, blessed day.